Hello, welcome to my channel. I wanted to talk about the apron that I made for work. I'm a hairstylist and I've been back to work for a few days and I've been wearing this apron at work that I made myself. It's a clear vinyl apron that um, I'll show you in just a second, but the reason I made it is because of what's going on in the world with COVID. I didn't really feel safe going back to work in my regular clothing and then going home. Um, I know a lot of people do go home and then change their clothes immediately, um, which I am doing as well, but this way I feel safer going home and then I also feel safer between clients so that way I'm not with one client that possibly has it and then just wearing the same clothing with the next client. This way I can wear my apron, spray it down, and then go on to my next client during my sanitation time. So it's really helpful that way and it just makes me feel a lot more comfortable. Another thing knowing that a lot of other states are mandating that you wear either a disposable apron, scrubs I've heard, um, just a new apron for every client or any other rules or guidelines that they're stating. So with that being said, I figured it would be kind of nice to share what I've made and make it available to purchase for the states that are requiring these. So I'll go ahead and show you. It is the clear apron itself and it has little fasteners and then the two straps. I will be shipping them with, or I have been shipping them with the straps attached, but I just wanted to show you it disassembled so that you know in case you take the strap off to clean it or something. So just putting the strap on the very top bib part. Okay. And there's a couple of different ways that you can wear it, which I wanted to show you as well, just depending on even just like your flexibility. I know some people or men aren't comfortable tying things behind their back, so I just wanted to make it have options. So you're going to put it on just like this over your shoulders, and then you are going to crisscross the straps in the back. Okay, and you have the straps crisscrossed, and then just put it from the back of the bib to the front. And that goes like that. And then same thing on this side. This is the way I've been wearing mine, um, and then I'll show you the other options that there are. But this is how I've been preferring it. Okay, so you have it through, it's crisscrossed in the back, and then just going to take each side and I am just kind of loosely tying mine. I'm doing a double knot just so it doesn't slip because you don't want to be messing with it while you're with a client. So I'm more comfortable but it usually will stay nicely just like this. And so that way it is nice and comfortable, it's not in my way, it's not falling, falling off my shoulders at all, and I think it looks cute. Another big reason I wanted to make a clear apron is obviously it's sanitizable and reusable, but also I hate wearing black aprons or any other kind of apron because you can never see your outfit, and I'm all about like feeling good and looking good at work. So, and it's another thing that I think clients will appreciate because they always say the way that you dress is the clientele that you'll have, so you want to present yourself well and having something that is trendy and cute is a good way of doing that. So I just wanted to show you the way I've been wearing mine. And then the second option, I just untied it. I'm going to crisscross in the back and then pull it forward and just tie it in the front. So there's an option for that as well. Lastly, if you're not comfortable doing the crisscrossing or doing anything in the back, is undoing it off the sides. You're going to hold it from the bib, and the right bib will go to the right waist, going from the back to the front. Okay. So basically, you have a little armhole. And then same thing on the other side. Okay. So now you have your two armholes. I'm going to straighten out the strap. Make sure it's nice and flat. Okay. So now that you have your two armholes, basically it's just like a vest. So you will put it on just like that. 
and then you have your waist folds. So it is on just like a regular vest. Right now it's not tied at all. And all I'm gonna do is, again, you can crisscross in the back. That's kind of what you have to do, but that's a simple thing. But this way you're not tying it behind your back. And then just tie it in the front again. So this way it's kind of a one size fits all. It's pretty long, it comes just above my knee. I am five foot four, so I feel like it's pretty average. You don't really need it much longer than that. Um, obviously, all of the work is kind of happening up here, and anything below your knee is the client below the knee as well. So it shouldn't really matter too much. Um, but yeah, this is just another way that you can wear it. I haven't worn it at work this way, um, but I think it'd be perfect, perfectly fine. The only thing is it may end up falling off your shoulders, but honestly, I don't really think that it will too much. So that's another option as well. So I just wanted to do one more thing. You can do obviously this method, tied behind your back. And then I also wanted to demonstrate how I've been cleaning mine. Um, I'm just gonna use Windex for the time being just because I don't wanna use disinfectant since they're hard to come by. But all I've been doing is spraying my leukocyte all over, or any disinfectant really, it doesn't have to be salon based. And then as it's, since it's leukocyte, it has to sit between three and 10 minutes depending on the type that you're using. So I would spray it on and then sanitize my station and then wipe it off when I'm done. So just literally wipe it off. And it's that easy. Another thing that you can do if you feel like it is getting creases or wrinkles, if you had it sitting folded for a long period of time, just lay it flat in the sun and it'll kind of flatten it out and flatten those creases out just kind of like an iron would, but do not iron it because it'll melt. And at the end of the day, I've just been obviously sanitizing and then I'll take it off. I usually just take the sides out completely. And then I've been storing mine rolled. Um, I think that's the best way. Or if your salon lets you, just drape it on your chair when you're not there. So that way it doesn't get, so that way you don't have to fold it because it's a little stiff to fold. So I've just been rolling it up like this. And then you can just store it, you know, just like this, nice and easy. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do, show you and make you more aware of it so that way if you are, have already purchased or want to purchase, you have obviously a visual of what it looks like. So I will have it available on eBay and possibly a couple of other sites and I will have that linked below. And I just am welcoming any questions that you may have or feedback and I would love to hear from you guys. So thank you for watching this. Share this if you have any hairstylist friends that may be a little bit more uncomfortable going back to work. And just let me know what you think. Thank you. Bye.